Hi everyone, and welcome to Extinct Field Guide. It's me, Joseph. In today's video, I'm going to do another field guide entry, this time for the Great Auk. I will mention, due to a possible technical issue, this is an older Great Auk drawing of mine, not a new one. Anyway, without any further ado, let's roll the intro, and let's get started. So, one quick thing before I get started, that being that works and images used, will be in the description of the video. Okay, so let us begin with the general description of the Great Auk, Pinguinus and Penis. Great Auks lived in and near the water of the northern Atlantic Ocean, with their range receding over time. Obviously because they went extinct. They had black plumage on their backs and white plumage on their fronts, with a very unique looking beak, at least in my opinion, and webbed feet. They were also very, very flightless. In addition, they are not super related to penguins, they just evolved in a very similar manner, and a somewhat similar lifestyle. The Great Auk would go extinct in 1852, after being hunted to extinction, with some of the last ones being, I kid you not, strangled, and their egg crushed in 1844. So, with that depressing note out of the way, where has the Great Auk appeared in media? Well, its appearances are mainly in print forms, so I am going to mention a few of those, specifically referring to direct appearances. However, more can be found, as well as references to the Great Auk, in the Wikipedia article linked in the description of the video. Some of these appearances include Spearbill in Sea of Slaughter by Farley Mouat, I apologize if I mispronounced that, The Last Great Auk by Alan Eckert, and previously, The Auk, a scientific journal published by the American Ornithologists' Union, though the name has changed. So, we then move on to the Great Auk appearances in the four main franchises I cover on this channel, Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, and Lego. However, well, only Pokemon has a Great Auk, none, and... I mean none of the other three do. That great auk is ostensibly Ice Q, who behaves like one and is in the right area for one, but looks more like a penguin. It's close enough to count though, in my opinion, at the very least. Anyways, that concludes the field guide that I am doing on the great auk. What did you think of this field guide? Let me know in the comments down below. What other appearances did I not mention? That you think are cool? Let me know in the comments down below. What extinct animals do you want me to do a field guide on in the future? Let me know in the comments down below. And until next entry, I hope you all have a great day. Bye!